Okay, this morning we're down in Aylesbury, uh, that's Buckinghamshire, and we're, uh, we're after Chinese water there. It's a glorious morning, and it's about quarter to nine. Um, the mist just clearing, it's just above freezing, and um, hopefully, um, gonna go and try and find myself a really good book. Um, Chinese water aren't a deer that I I'm very familiar with. I've shot probably half a dozen of them in my life, uh, and so that means I only get to engage with them probably every two or three years. So I'm really keen to come down here uh, and learn more about this fascinating species that's becoming a very sought after trophy animal uh, in the UK. I'm getting more and more inquiries, so hopefully, get some good footage. Um, the weather's nice, so um, today I'm going to be shooting my Helix, which is no stranger to any of you if you watch our shows, and uh, I'm shooting a um, Hornady GMX bullet, which is a, a non-toxic, 150 grain, 95% copper. Um, it's very flat shooting, which hopefully uh, will perform today because uh, we could be taking shots out to 200 meters and perhaps even further. So, uh, uh, see how we go. As I said earlier, we're down in Aylesbury and I'm with my mate Sam, who's guiding me today, which is really nice for me because it's always me guiding somebody. So uh, I'm here to learn about this uh, fascinating deer, the Chinese water deer. Um, we've already just walked a few hundred yards and um, we're looking out onto um, a stubble field and uh, we've already seen six or seven. Um, it's a glorious morning, so uh, sneak down here. We're going to have to use the wind like we do with any deer stalking really and um, get up as close as we can and really study them because we're looking for a good quality book uh, and uh, with Chinese water deer there's no trophy on its head the trophy's all in its teeth so we're looking for a really nice set of canine teeth um, so let's go some boy yeah let's go mate
fantastic. Well, we had a great morning, and um, this is my first book this morning. Nice rep. He was uh, he was laid out behind the two we were already looking at, and um, we didn't really see him. And uh, the young buck got up because he could see us, started strutting away, and uh, he got up and chased him off. So uh, we thought he was a reasonable buck, and we've took him. Uh, did a great job, about 100 metres. I'm using a uh, honoured um, GMX bullet, and uh, you can see he uh, acts very much like the SST bullet. Um, drops on the spot. Uh, it's not that much of an animal. Um, not much bigger than a muntjac, but uh, meant to be the best eating, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, it's lovely, mate. Lovely. We've had an absolutely fantastic morning so far, and it's <coughs> only just 10 o'clock, so uh, we're going to get him cleaned up, and uh, we're going to go and have a look around for some more. Anytime now, Dan. Dan, anytime now. Yeah, the standing up one, yeah. Shot that. Okay, okay, well done. Well, the patience has paid off, eh, Dan? One and a half hours waiting for that doe earlier on lunchtime ish, and uh, she got up and did one because we got bored and started clapping. Um, and then we've just stalked into these, and um, well, hopefully, it's not a gold medal book. <laughs> um, to help with the call, um, Dan's just um, took a great long distance shot with the Helix. Uh, GMX, as I said, nice and flat, um, did a really good job, so they're just going to go out and get it. And um, well done. So as part of the call, young immature buck. It's no good just shooting all the nice old mature ones. Sam takes a nice balanced call, trying to keep it as one to one, um, one buck for every doe. As part of that call, he's shooting um, mature does, immature does, immature bucks, and mature bucks. And. Uh, it's testimony to his management, the quality that you've got here, and how many we've seen today. It's been incredible. And a little trophy for Dan yeah. to have on his desk. Beautiful, beautiful beast. It's an incredible species. It's the first time I've ever seen them. They are, they 